Show starts in five minutes. Jim Rex? What's Jim Rex? Would you believe a movie audience guide presented as a public service by this theater's management to help you select your motion picture entertainment? Well, that's what it is. And we urge you to learn these rating symbols and use them as a guide for you and your family. G means suggested for general audiences, all ages. M, suggested for mature audiences, parental discretion advised. R, restricted, persons under 16 not admitted unless accompanied by parent or adult guardian. X, persons under 18 will not be admitted. This seal in advertising indicates that the film was approved under the motion picture code of self-regulation. Please remember to replace the speaker on the post when you leave the theater. Show starts in four minutes. And now, meet the star of our show. Symbol of a treat that quality made famous. America's most famous ice cream treat, Eskimo pie. Creamy, delicious ice cream made even more exciting with smooth, rich chocolate coating. And wearing the label of quality known the world over. Eskimo pie, the treat you know is tops because it carries its pledge of quality right on the back of the bag. Be sure you save the bags for valuable premiums. Get famous Eskimo pie at our refreshment stand now. It's America's anytime taste treat. Finest ice cream, finest chocolate. It's delicious. How do you like your pizza? Gobbled? Nibbled? Two-fisted style. You like ours best anyway. A crisp, delicate crust topped with our own special nippy tomato sauce, seasoned just the way you like it, and lots of golden Italian cheese melted right in. Delicious, and on sale now at the refreshment center. Pizza, piping hot and tangy. How about some right now? in two minutes. Yum, yum. It's time for a tasty and refreshing snack. to satisfy your hunger, your thirst, your sweet tooth. So visit our refreshment center now. Let's go! Show starts in one minute. Hi. You hungry? Looking for a tempting treat? Hold on till I absorb some heat. Some added tang might please you too. I'll slide into an oven-fresh bun, and I'm ready for your eating fun. Why don't you try a juicy, good hot dog? Mmm, delicious. And now, on with the show. And 
now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Hey, everybody. Welcome back once again. We got that roller coaster tycoon angry face going on. Uh, okay. So, today we're going to be checking out the Norwood Suite. Mm, uh, wow. Some of you guys might remember Off Peak. It was a game I streamed a little while back. Very bizarre. It was like an art piece. Uh, mm, what a hamburger. It had a really great soundtrack. Yeah, like a trippy game. Uh, it was the one where we were trying to get on a train and we had to walk around and find a bunch of... Uh, we had to find a bunch of... Uh, train tickets uh, pieces of a train ticket get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah. um, so this is gonna be a, a surreal experience I'm assuming a very music focused I'm not quite sure about uh, the volume levels I want to make sure that you guys can hear the music because I think it's gonna be a big part of this uh, so this is like the the sequel. Um, I don't think it 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 has anything to do with the last game. Uh, but I'm expecting some some trippy, weird crap. Uh, it might start out a little bit loud. I will adjust because uh, I opened it earlier and it was just a bunch of strings. Um, but it might start out a bit loud. I will adjust it after we get past the intro uh, and I'm gonna be as I did with Shinmu I will read donations and subscribers during little little breaks because uh, I don't want to interrupt the flow too much uh, but Tyran Trex thanks for the five months hey Ian how have you been I don't really know what to say but here you go I've been okay Bounce good, thanks for subscribing. Supreme Burrito, thanks so much for the 19 months. Uh, now let's, uh, let's get trippy. Let's, uh, are you ready? I did get the normal chat working. Like I said, okay. I will turn it down. We can get we get volume controls after we get to the game. chat here so I can uh... okay 
Forwards, left, backwards, right. And so we arrive at our destination. Always click to advance dialogue spoken at you. Prime sub should show up. Are prime subs not showing up? The Hotel Norwood. I left a hotel voucher for you up in the cave, or in the cave up the hill. Present it at the front desk. It'll get you a free room. Okay. Sorry, Super Junior Trash. Um, I definitely see some Prime, prime subs. It may uh, just not have gone through. I'm sorry. Trust me, you'll fit right in. The payment won't be wired to you until tomorrow. One thing to know about Hotel Norwood, everyone's looking for something here. So in a sense, it's not just me you're working for. Good luck, we believe in you. Ooh, okay. Oh, Peter Norwood, a notable pianist, was the original owner of this estate. After his disappearance in 1983, the place got turned into the hotel. The place got turned into the hotel in his name. All sorts of characters stayed here. Some even lived here for years. A few of those folks might still be lingering. That voucher will take you further than many who have come before you. Ha. I too stayed here a while back even before it became a hotel. Memories of long nights in the old, damp rooms. The music was great, sure, world class. But my history with this place is better left in the rear view. Okay. So this is definitely, ooh. Can I change my, uh, This is definitely, oh god. Reminiscent of uh, off-peak already. The Hotel Norwood. What is that? You guys can hear the music, right? You can observe certain items by clicking on them. Ooh, look. DJ Bogart. What a hamburger. Ooh, I want to see Rumpled Sweater. I drink it with every meal, every single one. Blue Moose, all natural energy beverage. Revitalizer, stabilizer. Well, we gotta get some blue moose. I don't think this is a horror game for those asking. It, I guess it depends on what. <laughs> I guess it depends on what you uh, consider scary. I love that I'm walking through the credits. I'm gonna make all the money now. It's gonna make all some items can be picked up. Press tab to open your... Ooh, I get a backpack this time? Select the helmet. Right click to return the item to my backpack. Okay. Dude, Teddy's Funhouse. Too generous. Really missed you. Hey, Ian, really missed you not wanting my money. Yeah. Never taken that left turn.
Are they okay? Or can you just... Listening? Hey, I think... I think I've seen you somewhere before. Or from somewhere. People respond to any item you're holding. Activate an item. Oh, so this was his this was his helmet. Nice, you got my helmet. Thanks. I'll take that off your hands. You're gonna actually wear it now? <laughs> Thanks again for finding my helmet. I want to go to this party tonight. I'm a big DJ Bogart fan. I listen to his mixes when I'm in the woods. I drank a lot of Blue Moose, and I know there's sponsors at this place. I'm not sure we have the right attire, Hans. Yeah, they just, they're gonna let me in though. What about this helmet? You might need something more elaborate. Oh my god, I just realized they're unicyclists. They're not like motorcyclists or anything. Alright. Buttons can be pushed. Oh my god. Is it too loud? Mmm, what a hamburger. How's this? Let me get near the music. Due to recent incidents on Lover's Bridge, the bridge will, me will remain closed until further notice. What happened on Lover's Bridge? Ooh, okay. Oh my god! Look at that turtle. Ooh, cool fan. Some doors need keys. This is way more elaborate than off-peak. Barbecue! 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 I got aquarium storage box key. Okay. Keys are used automatically. Okay. Gate control battery. Ooh, hotel voucher. We got a ticket for the Norwood Suite. Oh my god. I need to turn my music up. She took a bunch of NyQuil. a good game for it, I guess. I don't know what this is a good game for just yet. Greeting stranger, I see you picked up that voucher there. Oh yeah, I changed my icon, my Twitch icon. Be sure to check the info, my info where I list all the artists. Uh, this was just some fan art that I got that I wanted to use. Good, you'll need it to get a room at the hotel. Dottie and Sandro at the front desk. They'll help you check in. Well, they'll try anyway. And my brother, Dustin, he runs the concierge. He'll help you with everything else. 
Just a warning, though. People might mistake you for one of the staff. Don't take it personally, you just have the look. I wonder what I look like. You might want to even consider lending a helping hand. We could use it. Dustin at the concierge will guide you there. Real professional operation here at the Hotel Norwood, ha? Huh? Just don't tell Nadia I said that. Ooh. Corn dogs. Oh, that guy's talking to me again. You picked an active night to drop, drop in on the hotel, stranger. This party tonight, downstairs in the hotel basement. DJ Bogart is about to play his 300th consecutive weekend gig. Think about it, a show every weekend. The guy's a machine. I still remember when he had to beg for gigs. He says they laughed him out of the city. But Nadia, with her in her infinite wisdom, gave him a shot. Sees things the rest of us don't, that Nadia. She knew he'd put the Hotel Norwood back on the map. That's why she gets that nice cushy office and I'm stuck watching over a damn parking lot. Oh yeah, it's 550 a day. I guess that's for a stay, I'm not sure. For me, it all started with a long hike and a wrong turn. I walked through the front doors up yonder, no idea who Norwood was or anything. By my luck, people thought that I worked here, so I played along. I'm still playing along. Ooh, that's gonna be me. I remember my first weekend here. The office over-ordered a supply of butter. It came to us in this massive 20-foot cube. So some of the guests started to use it as a slide. Human bodies carving out a butter mountain. Alright, well he's done. He talked to us about the Butter Mountain. Oh. Okay, let me read some things while we got this cool beat going on. Uh... Man, I need to make this. There we go, much better. John C. 95, thanks for the 12 months. Hey, it's been one year, neato. Miss Membered, thanks for the $3. Hey Ian, so excited to be a sub now. Sorry for talking about sex numbers in the Discord. I have no idea what you're talking about. But uh, I hope you're having fun in the Discord. Oh my God, you're right, his neck. Uh, Super Junior Trash, there it is. Thanks for the two months. Oh, there we go. I miss catching your streams, and I'm so happy to see you doing well. I'm proud of you, dude. Thank you. The Cheese 53 thanks for the three months. I was just watching the episode VOD. Your voice acting is perfect. Oh, boy. It sure was something. Teddy's Funhouse, thanks again so much uh, for the $50. Way, way too generous. Uh, hi, Ian. Really missed you not wanting my money. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, one Sailor Mars, thanks for subscribing. Mastoria, thanks for the $7. Ian, I was finally able to catch another stream since Shinmu. This game is so spooky with all the eyes and weird faces. Uh, faces. Glad I get to enjoy it with the chat, though. Thanks for always being uh, so awesome, Ian and chat. I'm excited for this game already. I already love it. I hope you guys like it too. Noir Zephan, thanks for the 23 months. Uh, Cratch95, thanks for the $3, says Tuna Noodle. And Blood Angel uh, Veronis. Ver Veron Veronis, thanks for the 22 months. Okay, let me make sure. All right. I like that he's in an office chair out here too.
Yeah, what kind of parking lot is this? Is this the parking lot? Oh, this is the parking lot. Lucy got a promotion. Naka? Hmm. Hey guys. Ah, service at last. The Hotel Norwood will serve their guests anywhere on the grounds, Lucy. Are you sure this person is even affiliated with the hotel, Courtney? Absolutely. In fact, could you bring us a six pack of blue moose? I'm parched. You know you could get us in trouble for uh, harassing other guests, Courtney. Nonsense. Blue moose, please. But just so we're clear, the mod modulo is not tipping staff this weekend. Any issues, you can take it up with Nadia. Hmm. Now this this man needs like a twenty four pack of blue moose. Okay, we gotta get him some blue moose. Dude really wants some blue moose. Now, if you remember last time, we got in trouble for doing too much. Um, the mod modulo. I wonder what the modulo is. Uh, remember we ate everybody's cookies and pizza and stuff, and they got mad at us. At the end of the game. Party transports. It's locked. Oh, so it's like a company, maybe like a company vacation to the Norwood? These are all like company cars. He's probably gonna get mad at me for going through all this. Oh my god, he's got like a creature. I guess I can't close it. I was like, maybe I can just close it. Oh my god. Okay, well, I definitely want to find a key to that car. Okay. I thought it was going to get mad. Dude, this place is wild. Uh, let's go... Oh, you know what? I bet there's blue moose in here. Well, no, let's go, let's go concierge first. I opened all the trunks, I get the bad end. It's possible. I mean, that's what happened last time. Chances are, if there's a bad end, we will get it the first time. Because I'm probably going to try and do all of the things. Awesome. Hey Dottie, looks like we have a late night arrival. Dottie! Sandro. You don't have to shout at me. Your hearing aids aren't in. I left them in my room. Sue me. So you're looking to book a room. From the looks of you, it's probably out of your price range. Well, guess what I got? A voucher, eh? Let's take a look at that. 
We need to have a room ready pronto. So you're due for a night's stay. This guy doesn't... This guy's neck is... Uh, Wait, what? That voucher needs to be redeemed online. We'll hold on to it for you while you redeem it. There's a computer behind you to the left of the front door. I wonder if the Modulo is, is buying the Norwood Suite? We gotta redeem that card. Um. No Wi Fi. <laughs> it's a Lunxus router. Mm, what a hamburger. Please see a front desk. Oh my god. It's, it's a skeleton hand. Can I not? Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Okay. Yes! Um. Dude, I need, uh. Trouble with the wireless internet? Our router is a little finicky. You'll have to reset it. The router's in the library. Up the stairs and take a left. Can someone explain this game? Uh, I don't know that this is a game that's supposed to be explained. It is a it is a strange game uh, about a hotel so far. Oh my god, is that a is that a chef? Oh my god, stranger, can't you see I'm getting creamed here? This game's gonna ruin me. Zoe is a difficult game, Bruce. Perhaps you need some strategic assistance. If I could just make one strong move, I'd be back in the running. You know, Norwood was a big Zoe player back in his day. They say he'd skip his own ensemble's rehearsals just to play, round after round. He was a collector of uh, game cu uh, curios, game curios, and strategy guides. Don't be surprised if you run across one somewhere in this library. Okay, well he wants a strategy guide. Is it up there? Dude, that is- it is a big chef's hat. Maybe he hid the chef's hat in- or the strategy guide in the chef's hat. Um, so I also need to keep an eye out for a router. No. Dude, this library is awesome. Oh, here we go, here we go. Got it. Oh my god, it's... Oh my god, it's looking at me. Uh... I don't see a strategy guide. Ok. 
connect is watching. Oh wait, is this it? Mastering Zo. There it was. Oh my god. Okay, let's go give it to the chef, and then let's try and get our hotel voucher. Uh, validated, I guess? Well, if it isn't a copy of Mastering Zoe, that's exactly what I need, stranger. Normally I'd raise my ante, but given how things are with the hotel right now... Okay, stranger, take this. Oh my god, his neck has a thing coming out of it. Bruce's closet key. Take the key to my personal closet in room 308. I want you to go in there and bring me my jar of pickles. I've been letting the spears absorb the brine for a few months. I'm very excited. So that's what keeps stinking up the hallway, Bruce. Your pickle juice? Cider vinegar, cloves, red wine, and honey, Clem. These pickles are an acquired... Do <laughs> you look at that expression? Oh my god. Are an acquired taste. And I want you to acquire that taste tonight, Clem. It's time. Oh boy. What do you say, 308? 308. Uh, let's validate our... Okay, we can talk to that person later. Let's validate our, uh, our thing first. Got your status redeemed! I was that I was really good at that. Ah yes, I see that voucher's been redeemed. I have your room assignment and uh um what's wrong now? Another double booking? Well, 201 is Clem's room. Hasn't Clem been there for what, 15 years? She always overpays. Her room is not available. All of our other rooms seem to be full due to the board meeting tomorrow. It's a busy weekend. What about 316? 316, the Norwood Suite. You're kidding, right? At least it's vacant. Dude, I'm gonna get the Norwood Suite. Of course it's vacant. It's the Norwood Suite. No one is permitted to stay there, says Nadia. Last I heard, Nadia still cuts our checks. She's three weeks late, again. She'll pull another 90 day turnaround if we open up the Norwood suite. Oh, come on. Off limits. There's very little I can do besides guarantee you another night. Oh, there we go. And the six pack of Blue Moose on the house. Do you want to risk another bad ride up in Traveler's Quarterly? I told you, no more hotel business talk in front of the customers. So what, where am I gonna stay though? I just got dropped off. I'm seeing a no-show in room 204. Dude, okay, 204, there's my room key. Isn't room 204? I know, I know, but she's a no-show tonight. Something must have happened. I'm not sure about this. Make yourself comfortable in room, this does not seem like a good idea. And don't drink that blue moose all in one sitting, tempting as it may be. How did the 
<laughs> How much did that blue moose rep personally pay you to say that, Dottie? No, I don't want to stay in the chef's room. I don't want to stay in that pickle, that pickle room. Maybe I just really like blue moose, okay? Doing all those dancing maniacs downstairs. We got to check out downstairs. There's a party going on downstairs. But first we got to give this guy his blue moose. Squid Mage. Thanks so much for subscribing. Catch Randu, thanks so much for the 18 months. This game was made for me. This game is awesome so far. I'm already, I'm getting all the vibes that I really enjoyed uh, from Off Peak already. And Mighty Bob Barker, thanks so much for the two months. Hey Ian, I want you to have my children. I love them, but they won't leave me alone sometimes. How much do you charge for babysitting? I will not do that for you, Bob Barker. <laughs> but thank you for the two months. Good luck with the kids. Let's give this guy's blue, blue moose. Uh, thanks. You get yourself a new personal assistant, Courtney? Nonsense. Our friend here just knows how to, as they say, read the tea leaves. Unlike the rest of those kids dancing away in their dancing away their allowance money in the basement. Those kids, I wouldn't underestimate them. Wait, I'm helping them? Wait, maybe I don't want to help these people. Maybe I should have given it to the kids in the basement. Locker number 52. Oh, he wants his flask. The lockers are by the pool. Oh, I get to keep whatever else I find in there, though. Dude, there's some big meeting going on. You say you're on such good terms with Nadia, and then... Lucy, you're overthinking things again. In fact, my new friend here is going to help keep my mind clear. Locker 52, any swag you find is yours. And my flask. We're going to offer similar swag when our company starts giving tours here. To be honest, Lucy, it'll be 15 years before we ever, we even consider giving a tour. Besides, I've never heard of a company giving a tour of a server farm. They're turning it into a server farm? Dude, this evil company. Grab my flask and meet us at the bar. You've got a very promising path ahead of you, I'm sure of it. Well, I don't know how I feel about those guys. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna mine Bitcoin. That's exactly what they're gonna do. Yum yum. Aaron! Thanks for the two dollars. Hey Ian, uh, you're super entertaining and love your work, but I have one question. How's Poppy the penguin? Uh dead. Uh, half eaten, uh, half in the the dumpster. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aaron. Okay, I gotta find the pool. Well, let's talk to this guy first. As your concierge, 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 wait, is this not the same guy that was down in the parking lot? Does, my job is to provide answers should uncertainty arise. My brother, oh, they're brothers. My brother told me of your arrival, stranger. If you're so inclined, allow me to offer a few words of guidance. Throughout this place, there are other guests and assorted attendees. I would assist them myself, but this book, this book just has me in its sweet embrace. 
you want to make yourself useful, you ought to approach these guests. Find out what they want on behalf of the hotel. Who knows, you might even be rewarded for your trouble. I hear that's how it works these days. I'll be able to guide you further if you meet anyone of specific interest. I'm seeing that Bruce's door, room number 308, is wide open. You might want to investigate, considering... Okay, yeah. Well, don't tell me what to do. So he's our hint man. What is this? Is this a clown person? Baby. Okay. Well, here's the bar. Happy Mouth. Dude, so we've got a musician and a dad. Broken computer. Oh my god, it's smoking, yeah. Do the struggle. Blank sheet music. Okay, so we need to find this mystery person. Some blank sheet music. Oh my god. It's Helmet Man. Okay, I can't... Okay. Uh, I want to find the pool. Oh my god. I pushed in that dude's mustache. A piano key for the note of E flat. Dude, this game is interesting. Um, I'm intrigued. Excuse me, but you need to tell your boss to stop playing that board game and get back in the kitchen. I'm so hungry, Shelly. We'd like to order a sandwich. Turkey, mozzarella, cheese, cabbage, and tomato. No pickles. Oh my god, they're threatening, they're threatening the chef's job. His ramen last night was just so gloopy. Hotel Norwood Sandwich Supreme, that sounds fucking delicious. Turkey, mozzarella, cheese, cabbage, tomato. I, I'll remember that. This place is so cool. Anything up there? No. Oh, it's... Are they music notes? I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be like music notes. Oh. How did... Oh. How did I do that? Oh, I'm just bumping into it. Can't go out there. Oh my god, okay. Um, alright. Let's see if we can make a sandwich. Um, turkey. 
soaring like a piano note fish. Majesty ski masks do dig. Oh, there's a bunch of eggs. Why does this thing have feet? Slice O Matic. Oh god, it's a little dog. Can I put the. There he goes. Hell yeah, hell yeah, several s slices of turkey. We need cabbage, tomato, plentiful rascals basking eternally around Butter Mountain. Well, we know about Butter Mountain. Bowling dog was finding mischief. Teacher under a library. The rough, smiling fortune farmer commands frog dialysis. Mozzarella. My friend's bean joint. Is that me? Oh my god, it's me. She flips his boing vertical at a zoo? Question me for the tentacles. Don't question me for, oh my Jesus. Okay. So, turkey, we gotta slice, we gotta use the, the dog slicer. I did get a tomato. That doesn't look right. That cabbage doesn't look quite right. Flip my boing, flip my boing vertical. Is this all it was? It was turkey, cabbage, tomato, mozzarella. Was there anything else? I know they said no pickle. Don't think so? I got the sandwich. Zanessa Gailey, thank you so much for the four months. Four months, here's to 400 more. Love ya, Moose. Thanks so much. 400 months would be a lot of months. This sandwich is exactly what I need. I gave the sandwich. A warm, fresh slab of oven gold turkey. Tender and delicious. Creamy, fresh mozzarella uh, cheese. Mouth meltingly marvelous. A crunchy slice of hearty cabbage. Part of the balance. A juicy tomato dripping with flavor. Sliced impeccably. Well, I do have a dog kitchen uh, slicer thing. I'm impressed, stranger. You really know how to make a sandwich. You didn't leave out a single ingredient. You want to split this? Sure. I'll be up in the library. I want to get some special hot pepper flakes from the room. You always bring a jar of Hova's hot peppers, huh? I have them with every meal. I'll get them from the room and meet you later. Room 206 by the stairs? Yes, room 206. Actually, I just need a few minutes to ease out of this comfy chair. Too comfortable, given the work we've got to do tonight. Are you not gonna give me something? No.
Well, flip my Boeing vertical. Giving out free samples is forbidden. Come on, I like that. Apron must be worn at all times. Apron, come on. Sampling your own baked goods is strongly discouraged. Wear hairnets. Wear hairnets. Wear hairnets. The sink is for food wash only. The sink is for hand washing only. Same here. Okay. Okay, locker. We've got a key to 52. Are any of these openable? No. Locker 52. Oh, keys will be used automatically. Dude, we got we get some beards. Fake mutton chops. Doesn't he want a flask? I don't see a flask in here. Wait, so was the guy outside, was he wearing fake mutton chops? I know he had had them. Okay. No lifeguard on duty. No, oh my god. You guys think there's a lifeguard on duty? Ooh, can you hear the, what uh... Is it? Say, what is it? Hey, why it's butter cup? Popcorn. Can you guys hear this music? Nobody important. Thanks so much for the $10. Here you go, Moose. Just a little extra on top of my sub to show my gratification for the entertainment you provide. It's been a rough couple days, but watching your videos always puts a smile on my face, so thank you. Dude, sorry about, sorry to hear that, uh, nobody important. I've had kind of a rough uh, handful of days too, so happy to help out. I'm taking this key. Key to room 209. Guy doesn't want to talk. Uh, did you guys say that you could hear this music, by the way? I want to make sure you guys can... Uh... Oh my god! You hear it? Not right now. Should I... Can I turn it up just a little bit then? Okay, just a little bit. Okay, I don't want to go upstairs just, just yet. Oh wait, no, this is where I came from. Maybe I do want to go upstairs. The menu is terrifying. It's great so far. Okay, we have keys to 204. 209. My father was one of Peter's favorite musicians. He'd stay here every summer. And these rooms, exactly the same as I remember them. From uh, 54 to 75, I literally grew up in these halls. Morning to night, my father brought Peter's music into being. No air conditioning, no rest. A lot of things have been written about Peter, the way he treated his musicians. But my father never talked about any of that. He only expressed his desire to come back. And now here we are. Plenty of people waited to turn, uh, waited their turn for a shot at Norwood's ensemble. But for most, their turn would never come. Somehow, Norwood took a shine to my father. 
He knew he couldn't play fast like uh, Frederick Pasquale. Pa that's a person. That's an actual person, right? Is that a person? It sure sounds like a person. Frederick Pasquale. And he lacked uh, the fluidity of Madame Grapples. Okay, maybe it's not a real person. But he uh, had his own sound all the same. That's all Norwood really wanted. One of the few people I've known to truly be in the right place at the right time. Peter had a reputation for being confrontational. My father says he uh, really just had high standards. In his professional life, my father would suffer a lot. Uh, would suffer a lot of fools after Peter disappeared. If only he'd possessed an ounce of the fire Peter did. My father stopped coming out here when my mother couldn't work anymore. It pained him to leave, and Norwood stopped communicating with him after that. But by that point, Norwood wasn't communicating with anyone. Nineteen, mostly great years. It was time to move on, you know. Ten? I'm not really supposed to tell anyone this. But I've been summoned, summoned to be part of a panel at this board meeting tomorrow. I'll give both sides a fair shake, but then I'm getting straight back to Yonksville with my father. It was a nice stay, but this place is too much for either of us, really. Okay. Did I? We already heard this one, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like that. Oh my god, are you gonna talk to me? You're just gonna look at me. Oh no. Oh no. Well, don't mind me, I'm gonna go through your drawers here. I'm not sure what was with the tin. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a thing or if that was just an error on the game's part. Oh, blank music sheet. We needed that. Uh, the Yagensha. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Hmm. Ooh, someone's back here. Oh my god, stop looking at me. Sandra Carmichael Harp. Ooh, David Leatherman. David Leatherman performance. Hmm. How do I get? I want to get to the other. Nothing. Um. Well, good luck, buddy. Uh, uh. Good luck with. I'm gonna go in here now. Sink. Oh my god, I'm so creepy. Uh, bye. <laughs> Wait. Can I? Oh my god. A 
Okay, we can't get into any of these. I mean, I guess we could try. That's, that guy's my pop pop. Okay. 209, we're close to 209. There's 210. 209. Oh, let's let's touch the dog's nose. Boop. Oh god. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the lady's dad. That would be my guess. Oh, well, let's look around the room first. Now I forget, is this uh I got Norwood's jacket. Oh my god, the room is on the ceiling. Uh is this the room that we're supposed to stay in? Uh, that seems difficult. Well, I'm going down the, uh... 204 is the room we're staying in? Okay, I don't know why we're here. Oh god. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my god, the turtle's back. Where am I going? Oh, I can't get in there. <gasps> Is this the pool? Oh my god. I'm back at the pool. Oh, this guy is gone. Uh-oh, he's moving. Um, did I go in here? No. I bought the, uh, I think I bought the deluxe edition of this game that came with the soundtrack, so I'm excited. This is a soundtrack I would actually love to have on vinyl. Two seventeen, two eighteen. How are you guys doing? Enjoying your stay at the Norwood Suite so far? Oh my god, I need to. Oh wait, no, I already pushed that guy's mustache. Two o four. I'm doing pretty good. I'm really hungry. Oh, 206 is open. Oh, is this the guy that we made the sandwich for? Look at that big old sleeping dog. Is that a little, it's, there's a little couch in there. Oh, this is, his, are these the flakes? These are the pepper flakes. I think he, he wanted to get. Look at that guy. Where is this? Look at this wild background. 
Is he bathing in olive oil? Ollie, ollie, olive oil. That's pretty good. Okay. Wild. Sleeping. Okay, let's see. Uh, are you okay with this? Okay, so this is our room. Uh, okay. Piano key for the note of D. If you're reading this, then you have successfully checked into your room at the concierge, de concierge desk. A gentleman will give you a compact disc. You must take it without hesitation. This is, or it is for DJ Bogart, who is currently spinning records at his dance party in the hotel basement. How you get into the basement, I leave that for you to sort out. This piano key and these computer monitors should offer guidance on this front. Once we have confirmation that DJ Bogart has received your CD, the payment will be wired to you by the morning. We believe in you. Oh, there's something on the back. D-A, okay, well that's important. Dude, hey there wizard cat. This game is wild. D A E C D E. So we're gonna have to play some music to get into the basement, I guess. Oh, Peter A. Norwood. Looks kind of freaky. It is a song. I'm, I'm assuming that those are, we're probably gonna have to assemble piano keys and then play that as a password to get into the basement. That's my, that's my theory. Oh. Go away. Remember, try not to speculate in chat too much. I, I would like to figure things out on my own as much as I can, unless I ask for some help. I appreciate that this game has intrigued you, though. Dude, does our sync work? Our sync works. K kind of. Oh. Okay. Well, that's... <gasps> Dude, I'm digging the secret passageways. So that's Norwood. He's got the mutton chops. Everybody, uh, just popping in to uh, look at what this stranger brought, June. Ah, yes, this blank sheet music will get me started. I just remembered, my calligraphy pens are in my suitcase. Take this. Oh, we got a new key. Oh no, luggage tag. This is my luggage tag. The front desk is holding, holding my it for me. Those calligraphy pens are in there, if you could retrieve them. Dude, she's gonna compose something. We're gonna get a song dedicated to us.
The laptop is smoking because it's broken. Her laptop broke, she wants to compose something, and we found her some, um, some music. Or some sheet music. I missed a real tragedy up there in the library. Apparently Bruce really wanted to win that one. Oh. Oh, she won. <laughs> okay, she won the, that game. You ought to soothe the spirits by playing that old melody on the piano in the theater. Ah yes, the melody on the piano stand. Norwood's old theme. Bruce certainly would respond well to that. So Bruce needs music to raise his mood, eh? Pansy. As long as he can bake a pumpkin pie, that's all that's important to me. Well, he makes goopy ramen, though. If he doesn't comply with our culinary retraining regimen, he's done here. Melody or no melody. Bruce is not one to be easily retrained. He has a big hat. Easily offended, sure. I love the the speaking noises. Okay. Okay, um... It seems like we need to go... Oh, can we just go into the basement? Oh my god. I don't know that I'm... I don't know that I'm ready for the basement. Uh, no, I'm not ready for the basement just yet. I got other stuff I gotta do first. Well, boing my vertical. I see you made it into your room, number 204. I'm interested to give you this. Okay, we got the demo CD. Muriel, the woman that CD apparently belongs to, requested or requests you give it to DJ Bogart. As you've probably gleaned, Bogart is spinning records downstairs as we speak. Getting access to the party requires that you wear a mandato mandatory eight-piece costume. Regrettably, I can't provide you with the costume to enter the dance party myself. I remember hearing about an old costume mannequin in room 316, the Norwood Suite, but that room's sealed off. Muriel may have left some indication in your room as to how you might uh, be able to gain access. Okay, okay, Mr. Hint Man. Too many hints. Give me the suitcase. Our state-of-the-art state luggage retrieval system is without peer. Suitcase will be in the lost and found room to your left. Oh. I got a bathing suit. A spa voucher. Harrison, I told you I was too ill to attend the Norwood Chamber Society reunion this weekend, but I'm really fine, so please stop sending me get well cards. And I sent you my bus cancellation notice on purpose, so stop calling the bus company on my behalf. 
I know it's our summer quartet workshop. Or I know our summer quartet workshop was great, but it's been three years. A lot can happen in three years, Harrison. Maybe I'm not even playing piano right now. Uh, maybe I can't because of those damn Norwood etudes. Think about that. And if you're still worried, I'm going uh, to tell Jake about us sneaking into the Norwood suite. They figured out how to do it, too. Oh, and if you're still worried... Oh, I don't know. He figured out how to do it, too. It's like Norwood wanted every piano player to find their way inside. It's a real shame. Okay, so, yeah, piano. Piano. Where's the... Was I not supposed to get, uh... I was supposed to get those pens. Oh, it spilled. Oh, the ink all spilled over. Uh-oh. Where'd she go? June wandered off. Okay, well... Chef got mad. Getting all these keys. Oh, is that what's her face? She's very angry. Yeah, it's Nadia. Oh my god, there's a face on the door. Okay. Let's still go to 308. Oh my god. Well, I gotta go down this hallway. Dude! Okay, well, I gotta, I gotta go to 308 first. Oh my god, it's all, uh, what the, what they call a game? Zo? Well, I don't know. Zebra pants, so we're getting a costume together. Uh, turtle feed. Follow that in a second. Is this another shortcut? Okay, I want to see where the turtle feed goes first. Oh my god, what? Uh, 
Ah. Uh. Oh, God. There's donuts everywhere. <laughs> Thanks, Master Chef. Well, the turtle, surely the turtle is, the turtle's off having some great adventures now. Well, I wanna go down this one first. Oh no. We didn't even name it. Poor turtle. Okay, back in the kitchen, but now I wanna go check out that other uh that other passageway. I'm walking so slow. What is Norwood Suite? That's a good, uh, that's a good question. It's a hotel? Or it's a room at a hotel? Dude, this wallpaper's pretty great, though. Oh my god, I'm back at the bar. Okay. Um... We could try and go to the spa. A spa gift card? Let me take a look at that. I haven't seen one of those in years. Where'd you find that, an old coupon book? Such a shame Nadia had to let the masseuse go five years ago. Key to locker number 29. Key to my spa locker. Masseuse. Okay, let's go to the pool. We've got a we've got a new key. See the 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 Jesse. Uh, the pool was down. Oh, I never talked to these people. Am I the promoter? What do you need? Learn some new music. Copy of Norwood's music book. Dives through garbage bin looking for new sheet music.
People talk like adults in Charlie Brown. This guy wants some new sheet music. Wait, did we see this guy? I feel like the the eye patch. Did we see the eye patch? I know we saw an eyeball necklace. Let's just get this guy some sheet music. Uh, pool is this way. Pool. Sam and Max. I've never played Sam and Max, actually. 29. Come on, big money, big money, tw where is, uh... One through 40s, this way. Big money, big money, 29. Aw. I got a monocle. Welcome, Sir Noah. You've, you've picked a quite a day to discover that I stream. <laughs> quite, quite a day indeed. Okay, we gotta go play. We gotta play this piano. We need the C. We don't. We need what? We need another key. We need another key. We don't have the C. Don't you see? We need that C. Uh, what's that? There's something we can get up there. Going to play this record, but there's no needle. Norwood's old room. Okay, so we need a record needle. What else? Record needle, C key, sheet music. Any attempt to perform this music may result in serious injury. Okay, so we need that for the guy. Oh my god, is that the music? <gasps> There's a man. 
Oh my god, why are they always looking at me? Oh my god. He is watching me from afar. I don't like that. You know, I really don't care how far below my pay grade it is. I, Dirk Saunders, Regional Marketing VP for Blue Moose Energy Drinks, still love rolling these damn kegs. But after hauling this load... But after hauling this load, and I could really use a dip in the pool, though. Keep an eye out for any aquatic swimwear lying around. Well, I just so happen to have a bathing suit. After all this hauling, I really do need a swim. Why don't you go to my spa locker number 18 and see if there's an extra towel in there. Maybe there's a towel in there, maybe there isn't. Whatever, have at it. I'm so sweaty, I gotta get in this pool straight away. Whatever happens after this weekend, at least I'll have gotten a nice swim. Dude, he is hauling that blue moose. Board meeting tomorrow, 11 a.m. The taking of photos, recording of audio, video is strictly prohibited. Energy drinks courtesy of blue moose will be provided all day tomorrow. Uncle Star Fox. Thanks for the four months. Four months hype. Four months hype indeed. Thank you very much. I don't think he's telling us to get a towel. I think he's saying we can have whatever's in there. Maybe it's a towel, maybe it's... Ooh. Oh my god, is it the club? DJ Bogart! Due to recent incidents on Loner's Cliff, the cliff trail will remain off limits, but there's a there's a man. Where'd the uh where'd they go? There was definitely a person there. <gasps> oh my god, he's up there now. God, that actually spooked me. Oh my god, I don't like that. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, did we need anything in here? Do we have the trunk key yet? No. Mm, let's go back. I don't think we needed to come down here. Who is this person staring at me? Mm, what a hamburger. Why are you looking at me like that? What's the deal with those floating things? If I go in here, do you think they're gonna be outside again? Oh my god! What's okay? Corn dogs. Oh my 
my god, that creepy the hosp hospital man is is out. We can get closer. Sea Shanty, thanks for subscribing. Space Cowgirl, thanks for the five dollars. Hey Ian, longtime fan, first time watching you stream. Again, anyone mm, that's I new ever. here today, you picked a very interesting game to, to show up on. Uh, my husband and I have really enjoy uh, have really been enjoying Brutal Foods. I wanted to give what I could so you can keep doing what you do. Thanks so much, Space Cowgirl and husband. I'm going to work on some new vid uh, food videos here uh, next month, I, I think. I'm Minota. Thanks so much for the $3. Can't stick around, but your VODs are the best way to get homework done later. So yeah, I'm Minota. See you in the VOD. And Sin. Thank you for subscribing. I remember that from the uh... <gasps> freaky dude. Oh my god. Okay. Hey guy. Oh, this guy's ready to go to the rave, man. Hello again, stranger. This has always been my father's favorite room. I used to run wild between the pens. My father, uh, he'd be sitting right where he is now, preparing Peter's musical or music for the day's rehearsal. Peter would play Zoe while my father was doing his musical homework, pretty much. But when it came time to perform, he was always ready, as Peter knew he would be. Okay, we've already heard her talk about the board meeting, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I'm casting one of the deciding votes. Oh wait. Oh, that's okay. So instead of saying 10, I think that's what she was supposed to say. Yo, bros, you've missed a lot. Uh, we're going to Dirk's Locker, number 18. <gasps> What's this? What's this? What's this? Norwood's Homburg hat? Can I not go up there? Are we Norwood? We sure are collecting a lot of his things. What's uh... Oh, security override switch. Yes. We can get that sheet music for that guy. He's gonna injure himself and ruin the... The band's gonna be ruined. Okay, it's those ladies again. Oh dude, it's audio peaks, that's pretty cool. Locked. I mean, I guess the staff would react if we were, but maybe they can't recognize us without our uh, fake mutton chops on. Okay, so we've been here before too. Don't mind me. 
Just observing the action down here. If my company is going to be dismantling all this, I want to know if it's even that special. To be honest, I was expecting a longer line. I'm not sure why Courtney sees you as hired help, stranger. I actually had you pegged as the piano player. Maybe you have to go and find out if I'm right. Dude, she's holding... She's holding a thing. Shoes. That would be in by now. Dude, totally shoes. Hopeless. We'll never get in. Nice burger hat, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this guy. Fully assembled costume if you want to enter this party, bub. I'm working on it. Can I sneak by? I like that he talks in drums. Let's see, is Anessa. I'm gonna start saying bub. Oh, hey guys. Yes, I did just come out from behind that bookcase there. Okay. Let's go get that sheet music. I'm still looking for a piano key. Hey, Tom Servo. It's going pretty good. Is that what I think it is? I'm gonna have to get this off your hands and learn it. Dude! We're gonna go party in room 211 with these uh, cool guys, I guess. Party in room 211! Up the stairs, take her right down the hall. This guy's gonna die. He's not gonna be able to learn the music. That guy's, we just killed that guy. Party in room 211. Party in room 211. Oh shit! Oh god, look at this guy get down. Dude, I gotta look at this well. I can see still see that guy. Sandro, please stop messing around with Norwood's old sound system. Guests have been complaining to me non-stop since Clem insisted on getting it working. Since I know how much you like prizes. I've left a special reward for you next to the mixer. To access it, you'll need to mix the music to the levels that I prefer. Thanks, Nadia. P.S. Uh, I wouldn't worry about the board meeting this weekend. In fact, quite the opposite. Everything is falling into place. Dude! Was that, did I turn the guy off? Oh my God, I turned the guy off. Yep, I had a feeling that that's what you wanted. Norwood's eyeball necklace. Ooh, and a key. 
Basement blue door key. Dude. Dude, this room was awesome. Oh my god, it's a dog. That was not the game. That was Windows getting mad at me. Oh, okay, it's fine. We're just back here again. I need to go here anyway. Oh, uh oh. Is he. What? Uh oh. Somewhat reminds you of the artsy video that Chad and I reviewed. You know, that's uh. And I did say that if this was. I don't know if I left that part in the video where I talked about if it was a game, I would really enjoy it. I mean, I am really enjoying this. Oh my god, it's a banana lever! Banana. Let's go... Was there anywhere else we were trying to get? Oh my god, the hands are wiggling. These fucking wiggly hands. See ya, people. Okay, I want to go look at the uh, security cameras in our room. We already did the party in 211. That's where the dancing man was. I did walk directly through that shelf. I noticed when I pulled it out that I was able to just... Oh, hey, sleeping lady is gone. But where, though? I'm assuming this is where all the keys are. Uh, I don't recognize that place. We got that one, I think. I recognize that. I don't recognize that at all. Um, this guy's still passed out. What happened to the sh chef? Were we supposed to play that music for him? Is that what we're doing? Turtle's still gone. Oh, uh, we didn't go to the spa. We just got to the spa locker. Oh, God. Oh, no, it's fine. That's a painting. Okay. Yeah, see, we got this one. I want to say that those cameras are all uh, where the, the piano keys are. Well, stranger, we meet again. Yeah, where were you in the party?
Dave is the face. Providing an evolving electronic soundscape. Oh, you know what? We didn't get the pickles. I don't remember what room number the pickles were in. But we don't have a key. Oh yeah, the, the other game, if you're interested in the game that came before this one, it's called Off Peak. And it is on the stream, uh, the stream archive. Oh, the pickle jar was broken? Okay. I think we need to find the, the guy Let's go check the cameras again. We've been there. Looks like we've got we've got that one. Yes. That's the one outside of Nadia's office. I don't know where that, oh yeah, that's the mustache one. I don't remember where the pointing man was. And this place, I don't know at all where this. I don't know where this place is at all. Do the headphones work? No. Making taxes more relaxing. I still have to do my taxes. I keep putting them off. Didn't go down the space hallway? Is it the one up here? Everywhere has like connected, so, but you might be right. Oh, this, this one's the Norwood suite, right? I'm assuming. Oh, hey, the pool, definitely. We gave someone a bathing suit. Maybe they'll uh, help us out. Stranger, if I had known this hotel attracted such important people, we were just talking about getting Dave set up with our Blue Moose sponsorship. We have an artist development. Uh, aspect of our business and we want to bring Dave into the fold the same organic advertising techniques they use for their drinks they apply that to their musical artists we support musicians who uh, feel who feel can and who feel can and will oh who we feel can and will make a cultural impact it doesn't hurt that I do enjoy a nice cold can of blue moose every now and then. Keeps me awake at night when I'm driving the tour van. Yes, your casual endorsement is precisely what we're looking for in an in artist engagement. Authenticity is a big part of our strategy. So he's getting hooked up with a uh, sponsorship. He's getting a brand deal, dude. We 
can actually guarantee your next video will be an even bigger hit. People always say my ukulele playing is accidentally good. My bandmates don't even think it's particularly good at all. Oh, he's ditching the band! Oh my god, he's ditching the band. He's gonna ditch the band. Oh, I could talk to the concierge. Let's go talk to him. I kind of forgot that uh, we could do that. See you've made a new room, 204. I can't provide you with a costume to enter. Oh right, a record needle. So we're still trying to get into the the room. Pointing pictures to my left. Oh yeah. Oh my god, you're right. Dude, okay. Perfect. Now we can play that thing. Oh, hey. Did he injure himself? He's got a look at his ice pack. My best, my favorite player, Oom. Okay. He's handing, he's handing a film out of his, his suite there. Oh my God, now he won an award. But she still has the film. Oh no. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, we're in the place. Mr. Norwood, this is from 1965. I just wanted to say how great it was meeting you after your concert. Incredible music, as always. I know you mentioned wanting to hear me play for you next Thursday at your clinic on 5th Street. My class ends 30 minutes before it starts, but I'm going to hop in a cab for it. Looking forward, Gabe D. Oh, we're in this. We're in it. We're in the suite. Oh my God. Peter, wanted to thank you again for having me at your estate this week. Getting to immerse myself alongside your ensemble was a real treat. 
The crowd on Sunday, unbelievable. Back in the city, it just isn't quite the same. But I'm trying to put together my own ensemble in your honor. Very inspiring. Gabe D. Perhaps we can reschedule our next lesson an hour later than usual. Roommate drama again. Peter, I hope this letter finds you well. I've tried reaching out to you by telephone, but your old number no longer works. So thanks in advance for fielding this. You may recall giving me a rough sketch of your bathtub, a uh, min, min, I should know this word, minuet. About 10 years ago, when I visited you at your estate. Ah, memories, the piece was either handwritten by you or copied by Hans, I can't recall, but there's been interest in it from a prominent sheet music collector. Normally I wouldn't let something like this go, but he's offering a decent amount of money and I could use it at this moment in time. I just need a signed letter from you verifying that you did actually give me the bathtub minuet back in July 1968. You can respond on the return address of this letter. I hope you're well. Do you have any shows planned? If so, let me know if there's room on the guest list. Gabe D, the mysterious Gabe D. All right, who are you? Oh, hello stranger, don't mind me. I see you're moving in new and unexpected directions. You and I both, stranger. It appears you need a costume for the club, huh? DJ Bogart is notoriously picky about who he lets into his party. You'll need to do a thorough job of crafting a good outfit. Most of the guests, whether they realize it or not, can guide you to what you seek. As for you, this picture will lay it out. Formal shirt, slick shoes, outrageous pants, a singularly intimidating necklace, devious mask, oh my god, a tall hat, a monocle so you can see others' true motives, and a fake beard. The costume mannequin for putting this all together is straight ahead. None of the other guests will be as stylishly bold as you, I can assure you. Pity them. I don't know about the... Do we... We don't have a mask. Aw. Little cows. Aw, dog. Oh, we got a record needle, sweet. So we just need the mask. I think. Hi, Peter. Good to see you at your 30th anniversary concert on Sunday. Wanda loved it. I just wanted to formally follow up on our conversation about booking agents and management. I know your manager had expressed interest in hearing my work, and I wanted to make sure I had all his contact info correct before I sent him my tapes. Also, if you could point me in the direction of an appropriate booking agent for overseas concerts, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks again, Gabe D. Hmm.
Why does the mannequin have a skull? Why does anything have anything, man? Keys, wallet, passport, mm, what gloves. What? Who is that? Who just, uh... Brewster? Thanks for the three months. For some reason, it didn't pop up on stream labels. Oh, there it is. Brewster, thanks for the three months. Whoa, this is spooky. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Uh, okay. Gotta drop this off. Uh, down here. Load it onto the cartridge. Very exciting. Let's rotate the needle. Oh, I can't move. Here we go. My ears are getting thirsty. a spoken word album? What is this? Are you sure this is even a Norwood record at all, Miss Davis? I got this at the Hotel Norwood tag sale some years back. The woman I bought it from couldn't sell it to me fast enough. The label just says Norwood Suite, written in marker. A test, pe test pressing, perhaps? Stranger. If you'd be so kind, I left another actual copy of this record in the trunk of my car. Dude, I know where that is. I hope there's a mask in there, too. Guy's still watching me. I don't like the watching man. Oh, yep, there's the mask. Okay, we're about ready to go to the party. I don't see a copy of the record, though. You're right, I don't think Watching Man likes me either. I think that is a good point. What is it? Say, what is it? Hey, why it's buttercup? Popcorn! Dude, they left. Oh, the record was in, that was the sleeve of the record. Okay, but they bolted. The private eye. Uh oh. We lost a bunch of uh, blue moose. The private eye. Thank you so much for the $10. Just got off work and super happy to have a nice chill stream to relax to. Uh, though, I'm pretty sure this game will give me nightmares later. This game is a little bit like a nightmare. Uh, but thanks so much, Private Eye. Hope work was okay.
Why isn't blue moose blue? Is Red Bull red? I got the costume. Oh my god, here we go. We're gonna put it on. Oh. Uh oh. The guy left. The guy left. Oh no. Okay. Well, we gotta go through this door up here. Missing Peter A. Norwood. Oh God. So, someone played trumpets at him and then, did Norwood ever exist? I don't wanna, do I have to walk through there? <sighs> oh. Where do I? It's that girl from before. After hours work variance permit. Valid for this moment in time. Hotel Norwood, all floors. Issued to Cosmo D Studio Cosmo D Studios LLC. The Norwood suite was made possible with assistance from Oh, it's credits. It's credits. Um, I guess we're going to go down to the basement. I wonder if people are going to react to me differently because I look like this. What a costume. Okay, we're going downstairs. Decent costume, you can pass, bub. Dude, the elevator rotates. Oh my god, look at the banana costume. Oh my god, these guys are huge. Why are you so big? Oh my god, I can unplug it. Oh my god, there's like a... There's like a face coming through the... Okay, should I hand off the CD or should I unplug the... I'm gonna... I'm turning off the giant dancing man.
<gasps> Bad end? Nadia. Yes, DJ Bogart? Who the hell is this? No idea, DJ Bogart. Dottie, who is this? A guest for the night. Checked in earlier this evening. You certainly don't look like a guest to me. As much as I like your outfit, stranger, you ruined my party utterly. Why are you letting troublemakers like this into the hotel again, Dottie? Our guest had a voucher, Bogart. I'm not gonna just turn guests away. Tonight was no vacancy, Dottie. You knew that. No vacancy schmacancy. I know you always leave a few rooms open for... Her. Hey! Remember that pay cut we were talking about? You're really gonna cut... Oh no! We got our pay cut. The contract you sign binds your pay scale to your job performance. Plus, I get to dock you 50 bucks for every random act of sass. I think we're there, Dottie. You've given me no choice. A damn piece of paper I signed 15 years ago, still biting me in the rump. I was right to insist on a handshake agreement with you, Nadia. The Blue Moose team is ready to fly me anywhere, far, far away from here. Hold on, Bogart. The Hotel Norwood, the Hotel Norwood made you. Without us, you'd be nowhere. And I'll still be nowhere if all I do is play shows in the basement of a damn backwards hotel. I remember when you showed up here begging to play all those years ago. Can it, Dottie? That was then. Before Blue Moose Energy Drinks helped me realize my full potential. Face it, Nadia. You got an incompetent staff, joke security, and the food is... interesting. And then interlopers like you showed up and start causing the real trouble. I'm sure we can come to an agreement in my office, Bogart. But first, give me a reason why I shouldn't get security to serve you another fist sandwich. Yeah, why are you here? What have you got for me? Show them. A demo CD? Let's see that. From Muriel, eh? Muriel. So she dropped you off here, eh? I should have guessed. You know, she's banned for life from this place, right? Why is that? None of your concern, Dottie. Guards, kindly remove this stranger from the building at once. Hold up, Nadia. If the CD is from Muriel, I'm gonna have to listen. Ah yes, Muriel. No, no, no way. No means no. It's in my best interest as a professional selector to field new music. Especially if it's from Muriel. Yeah, Bogart, you're gonna wanna hear this. Listen to it. Come up to my room, stranger. We'll listen to this CD together. Don't say I didn't warn you, DJ Bogart. Let me take the old lift up to my private suite. Meet me there. We shall listen to this CD together. Oh, I can move now. Oh. 
Okay, uh... I don't know, that. do we want to... Hmm. Oh god. They believe in me. Okay. All right. <gasps> I didn't like that. <gasps> I don't like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't like that. Uh, <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, he's turning into a... Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, he was never real. Or Bogart is. I'm gonna explore your bathroom real quick. Does he clone himself? I'm impressed you've made it this far, stranger. Few are as bold as you. Nadia can sweet-talk me all she wants, but I'm ready to go. The mod modulo can have this place. Still, looking back, I never could quite put my finger on what drew me here. Hard to remember a time before I wasn't deep in the music at the Hotel Norwood. It's a place that attracts a certain kind of person. Let's put on some music to celebrate, shall we? Mm. Oh. Here we go. Oh my god, it's the turtle! Bruce and his pet turtle never stops. Oh, thank goodness, the turtle's okay. Oh, look at the dog. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that Norwood? Oh my god, here comes the sick guy. Oh my god. What? Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the... <laughs> the Norwood Suite.
I wonder... I wonder what the other... If there were other endings? Achievement unlocked. We hope you enjoyed your stay. Let me see if I got all the achievements for this game. How do I, how do I check my achievements? 17 achievements. I've got 15 out of 17. But I think I got those things just out of order. I think I, I don't know that there's another ending. I think that may have been it. The other achievements look like they're from the, uh, from Secret Passageways. Well? That was the, uh, the Norwood Suite. I'm glad the turtle was okay. See, that's the only thing I can think. We could have given the CD directly to... Uh, let me see if I start the game up again. Because it, it had this whole saving thing, remember? It was like saving. Sorry, it's very loud. I'll just mute it. What did you guys think? Yeah, it said it's saved. I just don't know. Oh my god. It's very, very loud. Very loud. Very unsettled, but also liked it. That's pretty much how I felt about Off Peak, too. The Private Eye, thanks for the $2, says stop. I'm not sure what would have happened if we didn't mess with the turtle. I don't know. Okay, hey, look. Hold on. How's the... Sorry, I, I didn't realize it had reset the volume. See, they won't let me, they won't let me. I think that's it. I think that's what I had to do. Hmm. Well, there you go. Oh my god. All right. Well, in that case, if you're just tuning in, you have missed everything. 
I hope you guys enjoyed our time at the uh, the Norwood Inn. I did. I thought it was pretty cool. Quite different, and I'm into different. I'm done for today. I need to go eat dinner. I'm very hungry. Yum, yum. Ms. Goat, thanks for the 200 bits. Thanks for the experience, the nightmare, not sure which. I liked it. I did pay for this game. I bought this. I actually bought like the deluxe edition so I could get the soundtrack because I knew the music was going to be good. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I will be back. Uh, I don't know if when I come back there's going to be Shimu 2. Maybe we'll do the movie next. Maybe we'll do uh, Shinmu the movie, and then we'll do Shinmu 2. Uh, we'll see. Dinner tonight. Uh, dinner tonight's pork, dumberry, pork, rice, eggs. If I had mushrooms, I'd make them. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. I had a good time. I will see you guys uh, next time. And until then... I hope you guys have a great, uh, everything. I hope everything is just great. Good night, everyone. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. Good night.